So my finals are finally over and Star Wars premieres tomorrow, so it's time for me to get back and working on the droid. This is my second attempt at building a BB-8 droid and here are the internals. If you've seen the first video then these should be really familiar. I've got a pendulum at the bottom uh, that can rotate and swing side to side and then I have a drive motor with a hub that attaches to the external shell. Uh, but I have made some improvements from last time. The biggest of which is I'm now using uh, metal hubs for both the pendulum motor and the drive motor and the uh, axles have been notched so these hubs are not going to slide off or anything. And uh, the second big improvement that I made is that the axle that goes to the uh, passive side of the shell is hollow. This is actually from a flashlight and this lets me route my power switch and the charging cable for the battery as well as just a servo cable for external stuff outside of the sphere and that's going to be really helpful for things that I want to do later on with this. I won't have to open the shell if I want to charge it or turn it on or do anything like that. So here's it working real quick. We got rotation for the pendulum. We also have uh, changing the angle of the pendulum and then here's the drive motor run it running. Uh, instead of trying to build it like a ship in a bottle like I did last time, I bought another Christmas ornament and I've just cut it completely in half. Uh, which is, makes it a lot easier to put together. Unfortunately, the last ornament that they had had some um, blemishes on it, so it's not going to look perfect. Um, but I guess it has a cut all the way through it anyway, so it's not going to look perfect in the first place. So yeah, I'm going to get this into this and then find a better way of attaching the head. To attach this rolling head, I'm going to use the same method I did last time using magnets, but I need the head to be a lot lighter. So I've hollowed out all the extra plastic inside the head, and the braces that I'm going to have that will hold the magnets, I'm going to cut out of this material that's just foam board sandwiched between two sheets of paper. And if you happen to know where I can buy more of this material, comment, because that'd be great. It's super light and stiff. So this is the finished head. And there's an embarrassing amount of hot glue here, but it is a lot stiffer and stronger than it was before. And this is the structure that holds the magnets on the inside of the ball. So instead of having it roll along the inside surface like I did last time, I just have a piece of shape lock plastic that I've molded and then covered in foil so it slides a little better on the surface. And it's just held up with barbecue skewers and the head clicks on like that. So now I gotta seal the ball shut and see if this uh, piece actually does slide along the inside okay. So I got it all sealed up, and unfortunately the weights at the bottom and the angle of the head means it's always looking towards the sky. That said, it does work. I'll quick show that. Now the weight is still a little bit too light, so it gets rocking back and forth, and it'll just kind of keep bobbing like that. Hopefully this patty of pennies uh, attached to the pendulum helps the wobbling issue. So I attached the pennies and I adjusted the head so it's mostly straight up and down. It still leans back a little bit, but it's a lot better than it was.
Speed test. Yeah. Okay, well, version 2 is functional. It is still very ugly and it has a growth on the side and stuff, but it's functional. So I'm pretty proud that I was able to get this all uh, wrapped up before the movie actually comes out. And uh, I will eventually go back and give this some sort of paint job or something to make it look a little better. Um, but I have learned a lot with this uh, uh, decision to use my own kind of method for maneuvering instead of Sphere's method where you have basically uh, a hamster robot running on wheels with inside the sphere. Um, this method isn't as good, I don't think. Um, after you know, combating the kind of the wobble issues that I still have, I think that if I had just gone with the way the sphere does it, uh, it would have worked out better. That said, this ugly growth on the side is a really nice mounting platform. So if I want to make uh, this robot have a tool or something to give it uh, something uh, different from the normal BB-8 that we see in the movie, uh, this will be the perfect way to mount that and eventually I would like to modify this guy and put it in the three pound combat robot class um, just just to see what would happen so eventually I will be going back and probably mounting a weapon to this um, just because that would be cool to see so this is it for now and uh, possibly more in this guy later <laughs>